everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season one, episode 17 of Pokemon Indigo League called Island of the Giant Pokemon. So we start off with the, um, everyone's on the island, on an island, and they're all okay. Um, Team Rock is okay, but um, Meowth is missing, and so is their Pokemon. Then we cut to where we find, but they found a phone booth. Then we cut to where Pikachu opens Ash's Pokemon, and everyone's okay, and they ask Lily for help. So and actually in this episode, we get to see what they're saying in their Pika Pika or Char Char voices. We get to see what they're actually thinking and stuff. Which I don't think ever happens ever again in this entire series. Unless I'm wrong. So, um, they ask Lopo for help and it literally doesn't respond and it fishes. So Bulbasaur thinks Ash abandoned them and the others say, no, you shut your mouth. That's not true. And then we cut to where Meowth wants Meowth wants to fight them, and Coughing and Ekans uh, won't fight. They only say that um, Pokemon aren't bad. The trainers tell the Pokemon to, to do, and they obey. So it's like the trainers are bad, but the Pokemon are not, which is completely understandable. They're just, you know, when they say a command, they do it. And so they do a truce. And then we go back to where Bulbasaur still thinks Ash abandoned them. So Pika says that is not true. And so they hear see giant ride on and they freaking run for it. Then we see the gang is running from a giant Zapdos. Like that's like probably 10 times the size. It's huge. And then we cut to our team rocket also are running from a big Moltres and run into a sign that says danger keep out. <laughs> Then we cut to where so the Pokemon are at a Slow Bros bar and they're getting hammered, which is weird. And we go to the next morning where Team Rocket called the boss Colette and the boss is not happy about that. And they do the motto over the phone and he's just like, uh huh, hangs up. So basically they stay in the phone booth and uh, pull the cord and it's like this cord's got to go somewhere so we're going to follow the cord but we're staying in this box, okay? So we start with everyone, then we cut to where everyone is looking for everyone. Then Team Rocket sees a giant Pikachu. At first they're super, super happy to see this Pikachu. It's like, oh my god, I'm going to catch this Pikachu finally at last. But then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It's like 30 times the size of a regular Pikachu. And then we cut to where the game sees um, a giant Charizard. And then the Pokemon see a giant Blastoise. And uh, they say like, Squirtle, why don't you talk to your cousin? Just see where we are. <laughs> and he goes like, he goes all try. He's like, say, hey cousin. Where are we? What's cool? What's up? And that, that it's not having it. So they run for it. Then we cut to a team rocket, run from Kabutops, and they get in this rail car. And then the Kabutops get stuck uh, because of the whole um, phone wire. <laughs> and then the gang drop in on Team Rocket. <laughs> then the Pokemon see them and they jump in the car as well. And then there's big loop loop. And then, like I said, the Pokemon jump in, and the po then finally the cable snaps and hurls um, into Zapdos. <laughs> so basically, it launches them into space and basically hits the Zapdos, which we found out is actually a machine, and then they hit the water. And we find out that this entire thing was a theme park. And why are they on this, um, on the roller, on the rail? Oh, well, I'll say in the, in the in I'll spend that at the end. So we start out, and then we find out that um, it's Giovanni's, which is Team Rocket's um, head of Team Rocket. And it's basically, he spent millions on his park, and they're at something called Perta Vista, Vista. And that's the end of the episode. So basically, I love this episode. Again, I'm going to give this A+, because it was a great episode. The only thing that was weird about it is like the whole translation of Pokemon, we get it for only for this episode and that's it. Um, for the rest of the series, Meowth has like a translator. So anyway, also the only 
funny thing about, to me about this episode is, is that the fact when they're on the rail car and they still have the wire attached to Team Rocket, it drags all of the other machines. That is like a Kabutops, a Charizard, and a Blastoise, and I think a Venusaur and a Pikachu are all by this cord, which is probably like this, this big. And I'm like, how did it not already snap already? That's crazy to me. But it was a really, really enjoyable episode and I, I loved it. I thought it was funny. It has good moments and we get to learn more about Pokemon and how like they're not really bad. They're just, you know, being, they're being told what to do and they're just following orders basically. Anyway, really good episode, really enjoyed it. And that's one do for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree, disagree, just tell me your thoughts down below and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye everybody.